Guys, what is going on? It is Sean, and I'm bringing you Sniper Progression Volume 4. Get a little a couple things out of the way here. Uh, I go 20 and 8 this round. Uh, do not get a single kill from a kill streak. Uh, pretty much all snipes. I know there are a couple kills with my secondary. Um, my 8 deaths on this are all attributed to me being a complete fucking retard. <laughs> um. I do. I did some stupid shit that I shouldn't have. Like I, you know, I was dicking around with throwing knives, and uh, at one point, I know there's one death that starts off that I, I, I probably, I probably should have switched to my secondary, but no, I kept trying to quick scope and missing, and ended up getting myself killed. It was pretty funny. But hopefully, with this video, you guys will be able to see some actual progress from me. Um, being a little bit more aggressive, uh, trying to be as quick with my shot as I can, uh, keeping the crosshairs line. I'm still moving around too much, and I know that that is an issue. I have had quite a bit of feedback, and I, I, I don't know who I'm going to have to do the commentary yet. Um, I've had three people that have all provided with really, really good com good. Uh, feedback for you know what they see that I'm doing wrong that was a nice little shot right there um, and I, I just I don't know so I will probably announce that later this week but what you can see from what I'm doing is I, I, I might not be out in the open running and gunning but I, I'm utilizing cover to try and help me it gives me one less thing to worry about with having to worry about the timing and everything else and I think that that's that's the the issue is that I get so fucking excited that <laughs> I uh, it, it causes me to you know do stupid shit which th you know in turn throws my shot off and creates all kinds of problems but I personally think that this is an improvement from a sniping standpoint over any one of the videos that I've posted so far uh, I, I do think it's the best one that I've posted so far, even though it might not be the best score. Uh, I, I could have... it Literally, if I would not... The, <laughs> you'll see in a second. Um, like, this death here. I mean, really? And then this here. This is pretty funny. I see my teammate die next to me, and I still decide to throw it and get my ass busted for it, so... But yeah, out of that care package, I think I get a Predator missile, which I completely fail with and fly it into the side of a wall or something stupid. Uh, oh, God. Um, I'm trying to think here. Yeah, here it is. I, I pick this up, and I see this guy. He's a little sprinter coming down the side, and I'm... What am I doing? I'm trying to throw a fucking knife at him. Dude, you're trying to learn how to snipe. Snipe the guy. Don't throw a knife at him. <laughs> yeah, just dumb, dumb stuff like that. And there's my Predator fail, which was epic. You know, just absolutely epic. But I, I let the, I told the guys to go ahead and take my stuff. Um, I didn't. I wanted the points for one, and there really wasn't anything worth a the shit. There's another good shot right there. Um, and I am noticing that I am utilizing maybe more the drag technique, like a drag scope, than I am an actual true quick scope, which I'm okay with for now because I think the quick scopes will come over time. And I, I really think that the only thing that's going to get me there... Like, what what the fuck was I doing? <laughs> oh my god. You know, when you, when you watch these videos, you honestly get to sit here and realize some of the stupid, stupid, stupid stuff that you do. <laughs> and, it, it, yeah. I, I, I wonder sometimes. I, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that, but... Anyways, back back to the gameplay. Uh, it's a game of team deathmatch, reg TDM. I am playing with a party. Um, get, getting 20 kills with my group of guys, I know I've said this before, is uh, difficult in its own right. There, I got too far up against the wall, couldn't go prone. But doing it sniping with no kill streaks uh, is really hard to do. Uh, I, I think that. I, I, I don't know if it's ever. I don't know if anybody's ever actually done it with us before. Um, these guys, the guys that I play with, I play with all the time. Um, 
we know how each other is going to play. We know how each other is going to react. We help each other out. We do it work as a team, so we know where the enemy is at all times. Uh, the only thing we struggle with as a group is domination, and domination will be the death of us because uh, there's a couple of the guys that that third flag is like a, a fucking beef jerky strip, and they've got to have it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Here's a pretty good shot. I thought I thought I was going to get a collateral, and if I would have got a collateral, I probably would have, I don't know, tried to lick my own balls or something. <laughs> but, yeah, again, I hope you guys are seeing the improvement. I, I know I feel I feel a lot better. Um, I, I've, I've gotten my challenges done for the intervention, and I'm still trying to prestige while I'm doing this, so I'm currently working on the Barrett 50 Cal. And going from this gun to that gun... I know a lot of people say that one isn't better than the other, or they're equal on the same plane, whatever, you know, whatever. They feel different. I, I, I can't quite figure out why it is. Um, I, I think it might, I think the uh, idle sway is a little greater on the intervention than it is on the Barrett, and that is absolutely fucking with my game right now. So, I, I rage quit twice tonight. <laughs> I never rage quit, but part, part of it was connection. Um, I know a lot of it had to do with lag because I was trying to snipe with a Barrett quick scoping on a two bar and it wasn't panning out. And two, it, ground war with me lone wolfing it, yeah, it just, it was a bad idea to begin with. Shoot that guy in the stomach and then final kill right in the face. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I hope you guys see the improvement. Um, I will announce later in the week who gets to do the commentary for Volume 5. And please remember to like, dislike, comment, and subscribe. You guys have a good one.